Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have another trifold waterfall folio to share with you. This one I did do a little different so there are some new elements to it. Um, I also used Simple Stories Simple Vintage Lemon Twist collection and oh my gosh, it's selling out everywhere so if you don't have this you might want to grab some now but I absolutely love this collection. Um, I did get this from Country Craft Creations, which they sold out of the papers, but there's still some of the elements if you want to get some of those before they're gone. Um, I will link that down below. Um, but this is a folio inspired by Graphic 45's waterfall folio that they have. Um, my version, the base is the same. But um, mine's, for the most part, I think I've done most of them in black. I think I have two in craft. Graphic 45 only does it in the craft um, cardstock. So um, definitely, if you like this style, you could try to make it or you can go out and purchase Graphic 45s because I do think they have some back in stock everywhere. I um, mean, it's a great folio to just have on hand. I still have a couple of them. So... Again, using Simple Stories Vintage Lemon Twist, I went a little overboard. There's a lot going on. So for those that don't like all the, uh, you know, this might not be for you, but just stay tuned so you could at least see how I um, added some different elements to the folio. But I mean, who doesn't love some teal and turquoise and black and white? Oh my gosh, I just... I can't, I can't, I love the collection. So I have the four by four cut apart here, layered up as usual, and then um, a doily from my stash and some flowers from my stash. I just added a little bit of bling. This is chipboard um, from the chipboard pieces and I did ink the edges. Everything is inked in the black soot from Tim Holtz. And of course, you know, you know, I gotta do all my layering, can't help it. And then here is the spine. This is what the back looks like. And I'm still, there's still a couple things I wanna add to this. I just, it was a lot. So the reason why I love this folio is because it's so quick and easy. But on this one, I added so much. Oh my God, <laughs> it took me a long time. It just kept going and going and going. So I still have a, like a couple photo mats, you'll see that I wanna add in here. But so I, again, just because I always do. I still have my magnets in here. You don't have to though. You don't even have to have a tight closure if you don't want to. I just, one, I do both and I like the look of the tight closure. So there you go. So here is the first opening. So anytime I can fussy cut on the design paper and use that as a tuck spot, I try to do that. So just want to show you guys, this is from the 12 by 12 sheet and I just fussy cut around here. Once I did that, I lifted this up, had a white piece of paper underneath and of cardstock and I just traced real quick with my pencil um, on the white and then I trimmed that so that I can glue it to the back of this. So this is really sturdy, um, pulling things in and out, you know, just had to make sure it was sturdy enough. But, and I did ink the edges there and then you have just, I'm mean, tons of photos can fit in this, tons. So you have this one, a four by four. And then I just added, I have a little uh, doily die that does a border, added that to the back. And I'll probably add a couple more. This was one of the last ones and I was too lazy to cut a size that fits the actual square. So I just <laughs> added a border and it's a tuck spot. So, and I thought it was cute. So these two just tuck right in there like that. And then you have this side. Normally I have an angled pocket, but in the tutorial I do explain, you can do this however you want. Just don't do a lot of bulk on here because of your book folding. And then same thing here, you don't want a ton of bulk because you want it to be able to close good. But I did a straight pocket on this one instead of the angled. I added this little four by four little booklet and it is adhered down. And then I have just a couple pullouts here. So photo mat, four or five by seven. This is from the four by six cut aparts, which is a great spot to journal. And then it's just plain on the back. 
And that just tucks in the pocket like that. And then this is from one of the ephemera packs. And look at this. I, I mean, it's, I can't even, let's see. Can I stretch it up a little bit? No, that didn't even move. Okay, hold on. Let's see. That's a little bit better. I'm not gonna get it all in there, but you guys can just see, you guys know how I like to do like a full spread. So I added my flap to the front this time. And this is again, doily from my um, stash. I have a doily die. And then this is from the chipboard. I added a little pull here, which I just love that this ribbon matches the collection. And it lifts out. So it just has that, and then this is what the back looks like. This is the other part of that doily die. It does just a half version, so I put that there, and you could tuck still a photo in there. And closes up. And I do have a magnetic closure on here, so just so you guys know. And then it opens up this way. I did a straight pocket here, and have another page so I added one more page I've talked about before how you can you know do whatever you want with this there was plenty of room to add another page so I do have a tutorial for the base not to add another page all you have to do is move this page up on the spine and you can see that this one is moved down a little bit on this spine when I make it again for because I want to say I think this is one inch the spine is one inch. I'm gonna put the page exactly in the middle at a half inch on this side. And then this one I will move up since this spine I have at a um, one and a quarter. So I will move this up a little bit, but this still works. So I just want you guys, you can kind of see how I have my decorative paper. This is half inch, quarter inch, just like that. So opens up like this, there is still let me just show you. So this is graphic 45 tag. You need the die too. If you guys don't have this, you need these. I love them. I will add ribbon to it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to, but I'm going to. And then still I will add, let's see if I can get in there, a photo mat to this. So I will have a photo mat here as well. So that just goes in there, and then I just did, you can see. At least I think you can. Sorry, I'm trying to look over my ring light. It is kind of hard to see the whole thing. But, so I took these from the ephemera packs. I layered them on black, fussy cut them. Um, these are all separate. This is separate. This is separate from this and that separate. I just glued them together first and then stuck them on the black cardstock and fussy cut it out. Again, graphic 45 tag. I used the three by four cut aparts for both of these. So I just placed the die where I wanted it to get the most out of that. But oh my gosh, I just, I love this paper. And I, this is the border strip. I left it on there. I purposely trimmed it so I could have that in this as well. I really cannot see a thing on here. The sun is shining so bright in here. I can't see my camera. And then I just added, you know, of course, a little bling. And then have a waterfall here. I'm not opening it. You guys know what a waterfall looks like. <laughs> but this could be a cute little journal spot or photo. And I did just white on this one. Only because I got so lazy by the time I was done with all this. I wanted to finish. <laughs> but I did do the different colors on here um for this waterfall can you guys oh my gosh you probably can't even see and this is left open to do like you know bookmark tags in the back of here if if um you want to do something like that but again i mean i don't even know let's just see one 10 20 60 i mean you're looking at a good hundred photos with this folio but oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So like I said, I do have a tutorial for the main base. I just am adding different elements, which all of us, we know how to do. And if you don't, just practice. And as you make the main base, if you're a beginner, as you go along, you'll learn how, oh, I want to now add this. I want to add this. 
but I will not be doing another tutorial for this style, so please don't ask me. You guys know my list is really long of all the tutorials I need to do. All you have to do is just play around with your projects and, you know, add a half inch um, little um, hinge to connect papers and, you know, just have fun with it, but try different things. So I just wanted to show you guys, one, how beautiful this paper is. Oh my gosh, and I have more projects coming. But then also how you can take a project and then just continue to alter it and make it your own or elevate it as um, you expand on, you know, just building, building up your projects. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you liked it. Please give your girl a thumbs up. You guys are really helping my channel get out there. So I really appreciate it. All the newbies. Oh my gosh, there's been so many new subs. I, I just can't believe everyone's wanting to like even partake in this crazy <laughs> channel. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. It's greatly appreciated, especially during these times. I'm having fun with all the comments and everything. And if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure that you do and hit that bell. So that way you can see the future projects that I make. Thanks for watching. Bye.